Evening, everybody. Welcome to the Philly Soccer Page Post Game Show. Mike's video here with Ryan Rose this week. Uh, Philadelphia Union draw 0-0 with Seattle Sounders. Uh, a frustrating night. Uh, Seattle came in and looked to muck it up a little bit and uh, get behind the ball. Um, Jim Curtin was pleased with the team's performance when he, when he just spoke with the media. Um, basically, I think it boiled down to everything but the goal. Yeah, definitely. Um... You know, we see some teams have a bunker and counter strategy. I think Seattle's strategy was bunker and bunker. Yeah. Um, they were very slow on the counter, and it really seemed like they were playing for the draw. Yeah, it, d it definitely felt like a team playing their third game in a week after a cross-country trip. Definitely, definitely. And, and, you know, in addition to that, in addition to having maybe weak legs after a long long trip, um, this, was, uh, this is a good union team in good form. And I think Seattle were probably happy walking out with a point. Yeah, I, I agree. Um, talk about a little bit about some individual performances. Um, Curtin mentioned Brendan Aronson maybe having his best game in, in the Union shirt, and I, I don't think I'm one to argue tonight. I thought he was very good. Um, another situation where it's just everything but the goal, yeah? That's right. Yeah, definitely um, disappointing for him not to get that goal. He had his own opportunities. But to his credit, he created those opportunities. Um, the, the thing that is most impressive about this kid, and there's a lot, right? He might be the best presser on the team. He's only 18 years old, obviously. But as soon as the ball is at his feet, he is doing something. He's moving forward. Yeah. He is passing the ball. He knows what's going on as soon as the ball gets to his feet. And uh, that's that's really tough to do at such a young age. And you know, he's, he's looking like he's a pro. Yeah, absolutely. Um, we saw Ilsenio come off the bench in the 57th minute, replacing Sergio Santos. Uh, this was Sergio Santos' first start for the team. Let's talk a, a little bit about each one of their performances. Um, what did you think of Santos, you know, mostly in the first half? Um, and then, of course, I thought Ilsenio was electric after he came on. Definitely. Good sub um, by Curtin. But to, to speak about uh, Sergio Santos, I mean, he was just not a good night for him to have success uh, because Seattle bunkered so, so heavily. Deep, yeah. it's, it's really impossible for him to get behind that line. They were playing with three big guys in the back. Um, I think that Jim Curtin mentioned that in, in the presser, and it just really wasn't suited to his capabilities. But I think he had he had a good night, all things considered. And then absolutely, uh, Il Signo coming on was, was electric. I mean, as good of a night as we've seen him have, and we've seen him have so yeah. many good nights. Yeah, no, it's, it's, it's fun to watch him down the right, and it's, it's, it's almost like uh, watching a basketball one-on-one -on -one where they, they try to isolate him against one or two defenders and, and, and let him go at it. It was, it was entertaining. Yeah, particularly exciting tonight because Seattle had so many men back. You know, usually we see Il Signo beat his man on the wing. But because Seattle had so many men back, they were able to move two men out to El Sino, so we saw him beat both of his men on the wing consistently all night. It was, it was, it was an impressive performance. Again, everything but the goal. Um, announced attendance was 18-5 tonight. Uh, sellout, definitely the most crowded the stadium felt all night. The, the atmosphere was definitely turned up a notch, too. Um, it's good to see. Yeah, yeah, it was great to see. Um, the Sons of Ben were loud, uh, particularly after the referee made some, <laughs> some iffy calls. Um, but, yeah, it was great. One thing I thought was awesome was when um, Fafa Pico came on for Brendan Aronson as Aronson was sprinting off the field. The whole stadium rose to their feet, gave yeah. a standing ovation. And uh, it's an energy we haven't seen for a while at Talon. But if the union can keep this form going, I think we'll see it more going forward. Um, still waiting for the Houston DC game to end. It's two to one Houston as we're recording this. I think in the seventy fifth <laughs> minute, I just checked my phone before we started. So union guaranteed first or second in the Eastern Conference after this one. Um, it, it came up a couple of times talking to Jim, and then I get in the locker room with teams coming in and the union in the form that they're in. You might see more teams do what Seattle did tonight and, and get men behind the ball and play 10 men behind the ball and, and look to counter. Is that a sign of respect for this Philadelphia Union team? Yeah, it's definitely a sign of respect, absolutely. Um, you know, it's, it's situational. I think Seattle being in the West, having a long week, yeah. um, was probably happy with the one point. You might see other teams play for the three points just because they need to. Yeah. But there's – Definitely no team in MLS that that isn't counting on the Union to at least press for three points every single game, especially every single game here at Talon. Yeah, I agree. Uh, I think we'll wrap up there. Uh, frustrating night at Talon Energy Stadium. Union draw with the Sounders 0-0. Uh, back in action next Saturday, w welcoming another West Coast opponent when Portland Timbers come to town. See you then.